Amen. God is a very good God, everybody. Jesus Christ is Lord. God is good. And all the time. God is good. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God is a good God. Jesus Christ live and reign forever and ever. Hello, man. How are you doing? God is a good God. Jesus Christ live and reign forever. He is great. And he is faithful. And he is a good God. Today, we have a wonderful message. Jesus love you, young lady. God bless you. Jesus care for you. We have a wonderful message today. And our message is, there is no rest, no peace for the wicked. No rest, no rest for the wicked. Do you see? <laughs> I'm wicked. Are you wicked? Oh no, I don't think so. The wicked people, they don't show that they are wicked at all. And they don't say about it. So you're a good man. Jesus love you. There is no peace for the wicked. You understand, young man? Jesus Christ is Lord. He lives and reigns forever. There is no one like unto the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is Lord, everybody. The word of God says, there is no peace for the wicked. Our God is faithful. Our God is just. Glory be to God. And the word of God says in Isaiah chapter 48, verse 22, there is no peace, says the Lord, for the wicked. No peace, says the Lord, for the wicked. So today, you judge yourself. Are you wicked? Are you wicked? Are you good? Yes, you are good. You are good. There is no one like comes in the name of our Lord and our Savior. Hello, young lady. God bless you. Thank you so much. Our God lives and reigns forever. There is no peace for the wicked. God bless you. Thank you so much. Jesus Christ is Lord. Thank you very, very much. There is no peace for the wicked. Our God is faithful. Are you good? Are you wicked? Do you enjoy to be wicked? Do you enjoy to be good? God loves you so much. The Word of God is teaching us today. The wicked do not have one single peace. There is no peace in his heart. There is no peace in his days. There is no peace as he wake up in the morning. There is no peace as he sleep because God bless you, sir. They will not have peace because his heart do not have peace. He's not at rest. His heart is not at rest. So God bless you, sister. Jesus love you. And because there is no rest, there is no peace. God bless you, young man. Jesus Christ care for you. Our God is good. And the wicked continue to be wicked because he know he has got no rest. Because he know he has got no peace in his life. Our God is faithful. But for the righteous, there is peace. Are you righteous or wicked? Which one are you, man? Our God is faithful. That is not like unto the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Young man, young man, do you understand? There is no peace for the wicked. <laughs> God is a good God. Jesus Christ lives and reigns. And he lives and he reigns. And he is worthy. He is worthy to be praised. Worthy to be glorified. Worthy to be honored. He is worthy to be exalted. Young lady, Jesus loves you. There is no peace. Not even one single peace for that wicked man, for that wicked woman. So if you want peace, you're going to come out of wickedness. Our God is faithful. Our God is just. There is no peace. I can assure you that. If you are wicked, your night will be nightmare. Your morning will be morning man. That's it. Your day will be nightmare. Our God is faithful because you are wicked. So there is, so there is no one, one single peace. peace. There, there is no is one single rest, rest. for that for wicked that man, man, for that wicked woman. woman. So if so you think, think to be wicked, wicked is good, is good. Think, think again. Yeah, yeah. To be wicked, wicked is, is not, not good. good. Our, Our God, God is faithful. Is wickedness is evil. evil. And what, what is wickedness? wickedness? What, what is really wickedness? 
Sin is wickedness. Sin against God is wickedness. Sometimes when we talk about wickedness, you may think maybe the wickedness to kill people or to destroy life. That is not the only wickedness. When you sin against God, you are wicked. Because God loves you, but you return back with wickedness. Jesus Christ is Lord. You know, when you sin against God, you are very, very wicked. Because of what? Jesus Christ died for you, saved you, set you free. Then why should you be wicked? Why should you sin against God? There is no one single peace for those who are wicked. <laughs> God is good, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is a good God. What a good God. Do you know it that God is good? Do you know it that God is faithful? Do you know it that God is great? Do you know it that God is excellent, God? How wonderful is the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. He died for us on the cross. So we are having, we're having a message, one that message the young man, you understand? That there is no peace for the wicked. And one of us also say in Isaiah chapter 48 from verse 18 to 49. And it says, Oh that thou hadest or heeded or hearken to my commandment, then your peace would have been like a river, and your righteousness like the wave of the sea. Oh, that you have paid me, pay attention, and do righteousness, that you should have peace like a river. That is one song, beautiful song, beautiful song, and it says, I have peace like a river, I have peace like a river, I have peace like a river in my soul. God bless you, sir. How are you doing? God bless you. Amen. Amen. I have peace like a river. Do you have peace, every one of you? Hmm? Hello. You look beautiful. Uh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> I have peace like a river. I have peace like a river. I have peace like a river in my soul. In my soul, I have peace like a river. Peace like a river. I have peace like a river in my soul. You have peace. As you are walking on the way, the street, you have peace of God. Do you have peace, young man? Peace like a river. You have peace when you listen, when you hearken to the voice of God. When you answer, when God calls. When God calls you, you answer, then you have the peace of God. When you have righteousness of God, righteousness of God comes with peace. When you choose to be righteous, you choose to be peaceful. But when you choose to be wicked, there is no peace for the wicked. You understand? <laughs> so today, it is good for us to be wise. Wisdom is good. Wisdom is wonderful. So we are, wisdom makes you to understand that it is good to be peaceful. <laughs> God bless you, sir. Thank you so much. God is a faithful God. Are you peaceful? Hello, young lady. God is a good God. What a great God. What a wonderful Savior. What a wonderful Jesus. God loves us so much. Our God is faithful. God wants you to be peaceful. The peace of God, God bless you. Rest upon you. God wants his peace to rest upon you, upon his children. Our God is a faithful God. And the Bible says, when you do righteous, when you pay me, when you hearken to the voice of Christ, you'll be at peace. There will be peace. You're going to have peace like a river. Your peace is going to have a deep peace. There are some people that have peace, but their peace is not deep. Their peace is shallow, you know? From time to time, their peace is disturbed. But when you are a child of God, when you live righteously, you have a deep peace, deep peace like the river. Jesus loves you. Thank you so much. Our God is a faithful God. Jesus Christ loves us so much. He cares for us. So if you want to have a deep peace, 
a wonderful piece, like a river, you're gonna go for righteousness. Because righteousness brings peace. The price of righteousness, the reward of righteousness is peace. When you are righteous, you have peace of Christ. Amen. God bless you, sister. Our God is a faithful God. And Jesus Christ wants us to have peace. That's why Jesus Christ came. He's the Prince of Peace and the new came. He died for us to save us, save us free. So that we can be able to have peace in our life, peace in our heart, peace in our body, peace in our soul, peace in our strength. God bless you. Thank you so much. Our God is an awesome God. God bless you, and the peace of God rest with you. When you have peace, you have peace in your family, you have peace in the life of your children, you have peace. Even in your body, you have the peace of God. When someone looks at you like this, you are very peaceful. God bless you. You have to see. How do I know? Because when you look at you, your face is peaceful. God bless you. Look at your, look at your face. Your face is peaceful. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God is a great God. God is faithful and just. I can assure you, when you see a peaceful a woman or man, you will know. Because peace has got a sign. Yeah? When you see people that are not peaceful, you will know. Because peace is like a river. Peace is calm. Peace keeps us to make us to be calm. You know the river, you know the calm river? So that's how peace, the peace of God brings us to. When you pass somebody, the wind of the peace you have will blow and anybody around you will, will experience the peace of Christ in your life, in your spirit, in your soul, in your body. But for the wicked, no, the wicked do not have peace. That is not peace for the wicked. Our God is a faithful God, our God is a just God. That is not peace for the wicked, say the Lord. No peace for the wicked one. But for righteous one, the word of God say, that your peace is like a river. Your peace is like a river. Our God is a faithful God. So if you want a peace like a river, a deep peace, a wonderful deeper peace, you're gonna be righteous. The price of righteousness is peace in your heart, peace in your spirit, peace in your faith. There are some faces I'm looking at now. They have got no peace because their faces do not look at the faces that have peace of God in them. If you see anyone that have the peace of Christ in him or her, you will see his faces or her faces will be different. Our God is a faithful God. You know, by their fruit, we shall know them. By the way they look, you know who has got peace and who do not have peace. The peace of God reigns forever and ever and ever. And the peace of God is there for you. You can achieve it. You can have the peace of God when you have the righteousness of God. When you repent from your sins and begin to live as Jesus Christ lived, you have peace. That's why Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. He's a great God. He's a wonderful God. He lives, he reigns forever and ever. And he has peace. He's the Lord of Peace. The Lord of Life is the Lord of Peace. Our God is the Lord of Peace, Jesus Christ, the, peace, the Prince of Peace. He has a peace that, like a river, a deep river. I want to show you that the peace of God do not have any end. There is no end to the peace of Christ. There is no one single end to that wonderful peace of God. The peace of God passes every understanding. Our God is faithful. Our God is just. There is no one to be compared with the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. He give us peace, and he is the Prince of Peace, and he is the Lord of Lords, and he is the Alpha and the Omega, and he is the beginning and the end. 
Hey, hey, young man. Hey. hey, how are you? Do you want something to read? I give you something to read. Hey. Good of you. Take this gift to mom and dad. Yes? You like the speaker? You like the speaker? Oh, it's not the one that's talking. This is the one speaking. Look, 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 that's the one. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 God is a good God. Jesus Christ, live and reign forever and ever and ever. There is no one like unto the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. He give us peace. We have peace because he's the prince of peace. We have joy because he's the source of joy. We have life because he's the source of life. When you have Jesus Christ in your life, when you have the peace of God in your life, that is joy. You have joy? God is a faithful God. What a great God we serve. What a wonderful God we serve. What a faithful and a just God we serve. The King of God, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and Omega is His name. He is worthy and worthy of our praise and worthy of our glory and worthy of our honor and worthy of our adoration. He gave us peace. He's reign in our life. The peace of God reigns every single day, every day by day. God is the Prince of Peace. God bless you, young man. So peace of God reigns. shows up. And that is no peace for the wicked, says the Lord. If you are wicked, you have got no peace. If you are a wicked man, a wicked soul, that is no peace for you. Our God is a faithful God. Our God is a just God. When you are wicked, there is no peace. Our God is good. God is a wonderful God. There is no one, there is no one like Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died for us on the cross of Calvary to save us, to set us free. And the most important thing, one of the main reasons why Jesus Christ came is to give us peace and to give us peace and peace in abundance so if you need peace of god you must come to jesus christ who is the author of peace is the author of life is the prince of peace is the lord of lord is the alpha and the omega is the beginning and the end he's the prince of peace our god lives and reigns forever and ever and ever amen Great is that faithfulness of God. Great is the loving kindness of God. Jesus Christ live and reign. Jesus Christ gave peace. God is the Prince of Peace. He gave peace to every one of us. He's a great God. He's a wonderful God. He said, God that never fell us. Hello, mommy. How are you doing? Jesus is <laughs> His government shall be upon his shoulder. Hello, everybody. Jesus Christ loves us so much. You want to read about Christ? God bless you. Today is the day of salvation. Today we are talking about peace. You have peace in your life, young man. Always. God bless you. <laughs> Christ Jesus, one day that you have peace, but in the world that is tribulation, that is problems, that is worries. You want to say in Christ Jesus, we have peace, the peace of Christ. But in the world, we have temptations, we have tribulations, we have persecutions in the world. But in Christ Jesus, there is peace. There is peace like a river. And the word of God say, Oh, that you have happened, that you have paid peace, that you have paid attention to the word of God, to the commandments of God, that you should have had the peace of God, that the peace of God should have been like a river, should have had the peace like a river in your life. 
Всем привет, His name should not have been cut off nor destroyed from before me. That you have heard it, that you have listened to God, that you have heard the voice of God and obeyed, that you have obeyed the principles of Christ Jesus. The word of God says that you should have got that wonderful peace, the peace like a river, that wonderful peace that can never ever, that wonderful peace that can never ever have an end. If you listen to the voice of God, if you listen to the voice of our Lord Jesus Christ, you have peace. If you give your life to Jesus Christ, you have peace. The peace like a river. Our God is a faithful God. The word of God says, because you are away from God, are you in or out of Christ? You can either be in or out. Our God is faithful. But the word of God says, that is not peace for the Lord. There is no peace, say the Lord, for the wicked. Because the wicked will, will never ever flourish. There will be no peace when you are wicked. <laughs> Young man, are you wicked? No, God is good. Thank you very much. I love it to see when people know there is no peace in their life when they are wicked. And, you know, they want to be good. They want to be good. Listen, everybody, Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords. That's why Jesus Christ came. And that's why he said to us, my peace I live with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. He says, my peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. The type of peace that Jesus Christ gives to us is a peace like a river. And that peace have got no end. It's a deep river. A river without a bomb. God bless you. The river without an end. The peace of God is the peace like a river. Our God is a faithful. Our God is a just God. There is no one like unto the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, who died for us on the cross of Calvary to give us that peace, to launch that peace in us. Great is that faithfulness of God. Great is the loving kindness of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, who died for us on the cross of Calvary. There is no peace for the wicked. No peace for those that smoke cigarettes. You haven't got no peace. To find what, what, what is peace for? What is peace for? There's no peace for these no, no, places. No, 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 no. There is no peace. Your that. Yeah, you don't have peace in your life. You don't have one single peace. I'm assuring you. You don't have one single peace in your life. You're going to repent. You're going to change from your sins. Your ancestors did not give you peace, young man. The ancestors give you worries, give you problems, give you troubles. Our God is a faithful God. You know, the ancestors do not die peacefully. How can they give peace? If you are looking for the peace of the ancestors, the ancestors do not die peacefully. God bless you, mommy. They were either killed or, or, or stoned to death. They either died in a very, very horrible death. God bless you, mommy. God bless you. Our God is faithful. Whenever you, whenever you die in sin, there is no peace, there is no rest for you. Jesus Christ is Lord, and He is the Prince of Peace. He wants to have rest, wants to have peace, peace like a river, peace like the sun, peace like the wind. Our God is faithful. Peace flows, it flows, it flows to everyone. The peace of God reaches every one of us. Our God is a faithful, our God is a just God. When you, when you have peace, your peace effect. Peace have got effect. Effect to the one. Sister Hon, baby, city news. What is he talking about? About Jesus Christ, the Son of God? Oh, give me one, just one. Yeah. So what's happening in the city right now? Testimonies. Testimonies of is it Christ testimonies? Okay, Jesus love you. We need a testimony of Christ. We need a testimony of Jesus Christ. Our God is a faithful God. 
not the testimony of the MPs, but the testimony of Jesus Christ. Our God is faithful. The testimony of Christ. Our God is wonderful. Hello, young people. Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus Christ is for you. He died for your sake. Our God is faithful. Great is that faithfulness of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who died for us on the cross. He died for us. He cared for us. He gave us rest. Young man, do you want to have rest? Have rest in Christ. Our God is a faithful God. That is not that comes to the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Do you have peace in your life? Our message today is to make sure that you have peace and to teach you and to tell you what you will do in order to have peace. Do you have peace in your family? Do you have peace in your life? Do you have peace in your soul? Do you have peace in your body? Do you have peace in your spirit? Great. God is a good God. So you need to have peace. You need to be peaceful. Because Jesus Christ has come, died for us. Set an example. That you can have peace. You can achieve peace. You can be peaceful. You can be peaceful. Yes. I can assure you that you can be peaceful. Jesus Christ is peaceful. He died peaceful. God bless you. Come this way, please. Thank you. Resurrected from the dead. He's coming back again, young man. Jesus Christ, he is coming back again. God bless you, young lady. Thank you very much. You are so good. Our God is a faithful God. The Bible says, let the peace of Christ that bring understanding rest in you. And that peace of God is just like a river. It's just like a river. The peace of God is like a wind. It blows. You never keep, you never stay in one place. When you have peace, it affects others. The peace of Christ affects others. Affects all the people that are close to you. Jesus loves Muslims. Don't you understand, young lady? Jesus loves you. Jesus loves Muslims. Okay? He cared for Muslims. He died for Muslims. Jesus died to set Muslims free. Without Jesus, there is no freedom for Muslims. Our God is a faithful God. God bless you, ma'am. Jesus Christ live and reign. That is not like unto the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, brother. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Christ is King. He's the Prince of Peace. He's the Lord of Lord. Young, young lady, do you know that cigarettes don't give you peace? Cigarettes don't give nobody peace. Cigarettes bring sickness. Okay, when you have peace, you have got good health. You've got good health, you've got good joy in you. You have joy, you have health, you have everything that you needed. The peace of God gave us everything. The, the peace of God gave us every single thing that we needed. The Bible says, and my God shall provide for you. Amen, sister. Amen. God bless you. Our God is faithful. And God will provide for you all that you needed according to his riches in glory. The glory of God is the peace of God. When the peace of God is given in your life, the peace of God is like a wind. It goes from you to your neighbor, to your brother, to your sister, to your husband, to your wife, to your friends. That's how the peace of God blows. It blows like a river. It blows like a wind. That peace, that wonderful peace of Christ. That's what the word of God says. Let the peace of God reign in your heart, reign in your days. Do you have peace with your children? Do you have peace? With your husband, you have peace with your wife, you have peace with your neighbors. There are some people today that don't even have peace with their neighbors. They quarrel with their neighbors, they fight with their neighbors. Our God is a faithful God. How can you fight and quarrel with your neighbors and fight and quarrel with your children? God wants us to be at peace at home. God wants us to be to be peaceful in our body. How can you let your body to be tormented because of wickedness? There is no peace for the wicked. For the wicked people, there is no peace. But there is peace for the righteous. Our God is a faithful God. And how do you become righteous? That you pay heed. Oh, that you pay heed. Oh, that you listen. Oh, that you do the word of the word of God. Rastafari is in the grave. He's, he's rotten there. He's not coming back. He's dead. He's gone. He's dead. He's gone. He's rotten. Our God is a faithful God. Jesus Christ is raising. But Rastafarian is in grace. Our God is faithful. That's a big difference, isn't it? And Jesus Christ is coming back again. He's coming back to save us. He's coming back to deliver us. He's coming back to set us free. And the word of God says, And my God, and my God, and my God. Hey, young lady, how are you doing? God bless you. Okay? Hello, young lady. God bless you. Thank you very much.
Great is that faithfulness of God. Great is the loving God bless you. Great is the loving kindness of God. Jesus Christ is Lord. What makes Jesus Christ to be different from every other name is because he is God. He resurrected from the dead. This woman, brother, the one he did. She's African. When the people come here with her, she put the all African bag. Why? I don't know. Oh no, that's because she hasn't got peace. You see, that's why we are, are talking about peace today. Any woman that has peace, whether you're African, whether you are European, whether you are English or whatever, white or black or green or red or yellow, you love your neighbor. Peace makes us to love our neighbor. The peace of Christ rule and reign in our life and it makes us to love and it makes us to consider others and it makes us to stay in peace with ourselves. Our God is peace. Jesus Christ is love. It makes our body to be at peace. Our God is wonderful God. There is none to be compared with the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Prince of Peace, who is the Lord of Lords. Today we have one message. That message is the message of peace, the message of hope. Who is the Prince of Peace? Jesus Christ. Who brings peace to the world? Jesus Christ. Who brings salvation to the world? Jesus Christ. That is the only one name that brings peace, that is the Prince of Peace, that is the Lord of Lords, that care, care for you. you know, Jesus loves Muslims, love people like you. Jesus Christ is Lord. Great is the faithfulness of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. He died for us on the cross of Calvary to save us to save us free. That is not to be compared with that name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Great is that faithfulness of Christ. Great is the loving kindness of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ lives and reigns, and he is great, and he is wonderful, and he is the everlasting Father. He is the Prince of Peace. He is the mighty Redeemer. He is the Comforter. He is the great God. What a great name. What a wonderful name. What a mighty name. What a good God to serve. What a wonderful Jesus Christ. God bless you, man. God is a good God. What a wonderful Savior. What a mighty Jesus Christ. Young man, do you have the peace of God? You know what is called peace? You know Jesus Christ loves you? You know Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace, and He's here for you? He died to save you. Young man, Jesus Christ loves you. He's here for you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Yes. You are my friend. Jesus loves you. You are my friend. Jesus Christ is here for you. Okay, you go and read it. Okay, give me a call. Yeah, God bless you. What a great God we serve. What a wonderful Jesus Christ. He died for us on the cross. He's wonderful. He's great. He's gracious. He's excellent. He's marvelous. What a mighty God. What a wonderful Savior. What a wonderful Jesus. Jesus Christ is Lord. He cares for us. He's great. He's wonderful. He's awesome. He's excellent. That is no one like unto God. Every one of us have peace. That's why many of us today have left their country and come to this country as if they have peace in their environment. Hmm? Many people have left the, the, the war zone and come to where there is no war because you love peace. But do you have peace? Do you really have peace in your life? Do you have really have peace in your spirit? Do you really have peace in your soul? Do you really have peace in your family? Do you really have peace? In your health, you know, your health should be peaceful, your spirit should be peaceful, your soul should be peaceful. Our God is a faithful God. That is not to be compared with that name, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wonderful Jesus, he died for us, he died to save us, save us free. He want to give us peace, and he is the Prince of Peace. He is the Lord of God, he is the Alpha and Omega, he is the Spirit and the King. He is great, and he is ready to be great. What a great God we serve. What a wonderful God we serve. What a wonderful Jesus Christ. Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before him. His name is great. His name is faithful. His name is kind. His name is just. He lives and he reigns forever and ever. There is none like him. No one to be compared with him. He is great. He is, God bless you, young man. He is great, and he is greatly to be praised, and he is greatly to be worshipped, and he is greatly to be exalted, and he is greatly to be magnified. He is greatly to be lifted up on high. That name Jesus Christ is a strong name. That name Jesus Christ is a name that brings peace, is a name that brings joy, is a name that brings love, is a name that brings every good thing for us. It's a good name. 
God is good. He's good, good, good. And he is faithful, faithful, faithful. What a wonderful Jesus. What a wonderful Savior. What a wonderful Redeemer. What a wonderful Comforter. Braca Shantoria. Jesus Christ is Lord. He cares for us. Jesus Christ cares. He cares for every one of us. He died to save us, set us free. Oh, what a wonderful Savior. What a mighty God we serve. What a faithful God we serve. Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Because he loves us so much. He cares for us. He is our peace. He has broken down every wall. He is our peace. Cast all your cares on him. For he cares for you. For he is our peace. He is the Prince of Peace. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. Hello, young lady. How are you? You are a peaceful girl. Look at that. God bless you. Jesus Christ is Lord. He cared for us. He died for us. He died to save us, to set us free. He's the Prince of Peace. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. He loved the world. The Bible says, for Jesus Christ loved you and he cared for you. All you need to do to have peace is just to pay heed. It's just to listen to his men. How are you? God bless you. Hello, young people. God bless you, okay? Thank you so much. God is a wonderful God. All you need to have peace, all you need to have peace is to come to Jesus Christ, to pay him, to be obedient to Christ, to be obedient to God, give him peace, to be obedient to Jesus Christ, give him peace. Our God is wonderful. Great is that good place of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, who died for us on the cross of Calvary to save us, to set us free. Today is a day of joy. A day of peace. Christ give us peace. Christ is that prince of peace. Christ is the way of peace. If you want to make peace on earth, invite Jesus Christ. Welcome Jesus Christ in the discussion. When you welcome Jesus Christ in the discussion, you have peace. But if there is no Jesus Christ in that very discussion, you do not have peace. Our God is a peaceful God. Every lasting peace must have a lasting Savior, and a lasting Savior is Jesus Christ. Amen. If you want to have a lasting peace, you have a lasting Savior. There is only one name that gives us peace, and that only one name that gives us peace is the name of Jesus Christ, is the name of the Savior, is the name of our God that died for us on the cross, that became man and lived with us. And we tested him, and we tried him, our God is a wonderful God. Therefore, that's what the Bible of God says. There is no peace for the wicked. And our God told us in Isaiah chapter 48, verse 20, He says, Leave Babylon, flee from the Chaldeans with the voice of singing. Declare, proclaim this. Write it to the ends of the earth. Say, The Lord has redeemed his servant Jacob. Write it down, proclaim it, shout aloud. The Lord has redeemed his servant Jacob. Our God is a faithful God. And great is that faithfulness of God. So let that peace of Christ, let that peace of the Lord reign and rest in your life, in your soul, in your body, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Remember, Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. Remember, Jesus Christ died to save you, to give you peace to give you joy, to give you every good thing that you needed. Remember, for you to have peace, you're going to pay heed, you're going to listen, you're going to receive Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior, and then when you receive Christ in your heart, it's going to give you everlasting peace. A peace like a river, a peace like the wind, and the peace like the sand of the sea. Our God is a faithful God. The peace of God reaches from everlasting to everlasting. Christ is the peace. Welcome Him, serve Him. Open your heart. Let him come in. He's going to give you peace in your life. May God bless you today in Jesus' name. Amen.